Welcome to the video, my friends. Today we have a Daisy in 2022 update from Scotty via the Daisy dev team. And I think this one's pretty interesting. It mentions a revamp or a rework of how vehicles behave in Daisy with help from Infusion Engine or the new uh, improvements to Infusion Engine that the dev team we know have been very busy on with a recent reveal of the engine in a trailer that we covered and spoke about. So let's scroll down here on the page. And we also know that 1.16 Experimental is out to try as well on PC. I think console as well. Uh, so let's get into it. Update 1.16 is on the way, and we thought this would be a good time to outline some of our plans for 2022. You'll be happy to know that we are committed to supporting Daisy throughout 2022 and will continue to release frequent updates that include a healthy balance of fixes, stability, balancing, and new content. As we mentioned at the end of last year, update 1.16 won't be packed with new features. Instead, we've chosen to tackle our backlog of issues and set a firm foundation for our future plans. With that in mind, we'd like to point out that update 1.16 has entered its experimental phase and we expect its official release to occur on February 15th. Just to be clear, we are not wiping with update 1.16 so your characters and servers will be safe. Uh, though we will be continuing to wipe on a semi-regular basis depending on loot changes and improvements. Okay, so there might be kind of semi-regular wipes. So keep an eye out for that. So there is a chance still that there will be a wipe. Okay, <laughs> more likely than not, update 1.17 will serve as the first wipe of the year. Okay, so the bit first major wipe, I guess that means. The reasons for this are purely balance related and we will be making all relevant announcements beforehand. Unlike last year, we would like to pay more attention to our official terrains. This is particularly true for Livonia. Oh, some Livonia love. Nice. Where we would like to add new points of interest and try to make the environment a bit more interactive. We plan on ramping up our asset production this year. That includes a plan to introduce a variety of utility items to enrich the overall sandbox, as well as providing meaningful tools players can use to interact with each other and the environment. That sounds pretty interesting. I wonder what that could mean. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you've got any ideas or if there was any tools or weapons and things like that that we know from the Trello way back when uh, we've been covering Daisy. Oh God, best part of 10 years now. So if there's anything that was not coming to Daisy that we know of from way back when, maybe we've got some ideas out there. Maybe maybe there's something that really makes sense for it to come in that, that never did make it to Daisy as uh, they're going through the backlog. As usual, we intend to offer at least one new firearm with each update lovely so we should get a good few of more weapons this this year and like last year we'll be focusing more on civilian firearms yes that oh sorry that was a bit too excited maybe i don't know um <laughs> civilian firearms is something i mentioned a couple of streams ago i would love for more civilian firearms to be a thing less military on the coast more civilian stuff uh, i would like to see another revolver i've always said i'm a i'm a wild west fan um i would love to see something like an old cult uh, revolver something like that just some uh, or even a snub nose police i know it's not necessarily based in Chernerus or livonia but just just a variety of, of 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 weapons of we've only got one revolver more revolvers is what i'm saying i love revolvers uh if we get more of those i'm happy um but something like an old colt revolver or something like a classical like somebody might have had it as a collection you know it's a rare collection item that somebody's got in their house or their farm uh, and there's a chance of finding that rare um, collectible firearm, like an old Colt revolver. I, I would love to see something like that. Uh, I can dream, though. I've been dreaming for 10 years, so uh, I'll keep on dreaming. Uh, let's see, though. And include legacy versions with new ones. Uh, we're in the process of importing the latest version of vehicle simulation from the newer version of our infusion engine. There we go. We hope this will bring more much-needed stability to vehicle simulation in Daisy and expect to perform some public testing in the coming weeks. Now, we know there was a vehicle kind of redo uh, God, a couple of years ago now, um, which it did improve vehicles, but still on a fully pop server, full 50 slot, 60 slot, which is recommended on official servers. Um, even modded servers are recommended a certain limit, um, though people do push them to 100 plus these days. Um, for vehicle stability, I'd probably say 30 is a good number, to be honest, if you want to use vehicles. The more vehicles, the less stability um, there is. So that there's more going on on the server. The server FPS drops, and the net network just cannot handle the, the mo all the moving objects all around the big world. Daisy's maps are huge, and that's when you start having vehicles start floating and hitting objects that may necessarily not be there on your screen. 
it might be hitting something that's further down the road or behind you or something or off to the left or the right um so it's all kind of weird how vehicles are at the moment but it's good to see that they are we're looking into it yet again with the newer version of the infusion engine there uh let's bring back some much needed stability to the vehicle st uh, simulation and uh, expect to perform some public tests in the coming weeks so that will be jumping straight on for the for vehicle tests probably do like um jump on a full pop server and hopefully they put a load of vehicles everywhere maybe because you, you're going to want vehicles easily accessible for that so let's hope they do like one server or something and just do their tweet like they do do um we're putting vehicles along the coast grab a vehicle let's test let's give it a big hammering on performance for this new vehicle simulation test uh hopefully that's the thing we'll have to jump on that as soon as we can and uh and then test it um yeah that's super exciting stuff because vehicles has been a bit disappointing um a really good simulation uh, as a whole if they can get you know the, the the issues with lag and things like that and flying up in the air uh sorted other than that the vehicles um are really nice to use anyway we plan on dedicating some of the time to control scheme on controllers this includes adding more sensitivity options and additional voip functionality speaking of controls we also plan on revisiting the way users can bind various gestures to keys uh, seasonal events will return this year which we plan on spicing up with new content and features so halloween events and, and all that good stuff probably valentine's day as well uh, we had the bears i think the brian bears won valentine's day many moons ago uh which uh i think is still in the game uh so yeah that'd be good to see some uh some new content for those and features and last but not least we are enriching and expanding upon hannah's law uh if anybody can let me know what hannah's law is that doesn't ring any bells to me i know i've been away a bit this year playing other games a lot as i have covered daisy for best part of 10 years solely daisy i've enjoyed having a bit of a break and my god i enjoy daisy so much more through uh you know playing it a little bit that i do now compared to 24 7 back in the day oh my god those that, that have been around that long know uh how long i've been around daisy and how much i played it thousands of hours in daisy multiple thousands of hours um but hannah's law doesn't ring about to me mm. which has already been introduced in previous daisy update videos both the publisher and production departments will be working on support the law both in game and through our other media let me know in the comments section below i'll read upon it i'll catch up on that uh, we plan on releasing five updates this year so hey, that's a good amount that's a good amount five updates they've been really racking them up the the, the updates and the good content uh through daisy uh there was a moment i know daisy has been in some shite positions it's uh yeah very good place right now i i i can't i i have no doubts about the the team that are working on daisy now adam is extremely talented and a very good vision just the mouse on its own you can tell uh you know what what vision is about in daisy for the team and and he's got a real uh passion uh for it just off of the mouse on its own uh, forget about daisy you just go off of his creation the mouse the lore the map uh what he's done with other people uh through the modding of of the mouse features and content is just it's the 11 out of 10 in my opinion the atmosphere on that and the immersion on that on the mouse and I've got no worries let's just say i've got no worries about that i can't put it into words that how happy i am that that it's adam that's design lead and anyway we'll, we'll carry on i could gush over adam too much um i've known adam for a long time he's a good friend uh, as well so it's uh yeah i've got no doubts about that um so trust me there's no worries in the, on that side of things so what have we got here let's get back to it another thing we'll be doing working with our partners and community to improve and maintain the game's performance and stability so performance for those that weren't around way 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 back when before we did the partial infusion renderer um with legacy technology performance was shocking terrible i know we all well most of us had older pcs back then uh but when they did do the change for render performance people didn't believe it once i got my hands on the renderer we're talking like 15 20 25 fps uh at the best up to 60 plus fps was the improvement on my old pc new pc i'm looking at 100 plus fps so more performance and stability yes please i don't know how they're going to squeeze more out of it but uh, we'll have to wait and see this includes ensuring as much as possible that older generations of hardware are not left behind good to hear a couple of final notes first we'll be expanding our team so if you're interested in working at daisy and know someone who is there we go expanding the team again then make sure to check out the career page i'll link that in the description below and probably pin it as well in the comment section anybody interested get your applications in for the dev team and uh, if you'd like to get your hands on some cool daisy clothing and accessories, then make sure to head over to our merch store. 
which actually I just received some from the Daisy Dev team. So thank you very much to the Daisy Dev team for sending me a new T-shirt, uh, metal travel mug thing and a new hoodie. Thank you. Thank you again, Daisy Dev team for sending that over. I really do appreciate it. And uh, that is it for now from Scotty on behalf of the Daisy Dev team. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts. I know I rambled a little bit there, but I do get passionate. I might not be around as much as I used to be. As I've said, I've been around for 10 years. It's got to be 10 years, including Armour 2, Daisy Mod. Um, it's got to be, hasn't it, easily? I know it's I know it's nine years at least, I think, since Daisy Mod 2011, I think. Right? Uh, still a good place to be, Daisy. Still a good survival game. Still the best out there, in my opinion. Still gives me the shakes when I do come back to it. Um, that Daisy Adrenaline Rush, you know what I'm on about. No other game really gives it you. You do get a little inkling. Um, I've had a little bit in, like... PUBG stuff like that but it's like another level in daisy when you get shot at it's uh it's an insane place to be and i've met so many people around daisy and made friends that just friends for life really and um i'll still continue to cover daisy when i can um, but i am enjoying a lot of other games as well as anybody should do and take breaks and, and it's, it's good for your health that's all i'm saying i love you all sorry for rambling on don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you enjoy the content i create and I'll see you peeps next time.